Okay, guys, another quick reading for Divine Masculine for the current energies. And the question for this reading for Divine Masculine are called My Secrets. What are the Divine Masculine's secrets? And the question are, what is his secret desire? What is his secret hate? What is his secret challenge? His secret need? His secret test? What is his secret motivation? And what can he accomplish? Okay. And today is August 11, 2018. So, so let's start with the first question. The first question is, what is divine masculine secret desire? Okay. Let's get this card. His secret desire is emotional loss. And that's numerology 5 and that was in reverse. So I don't know if all my cards are in reverse. Because if they're all in reverse, that means... Uh, I just... Yeah, they're all in reverse. So I'm just going to turn that upright, okay? Because that means nothing. If they're all in reverse, I just... He doesn't realize. So that's his secret desire. He he wants to let go of the pain. He wants to let go of the fear, the fear of abandonment, the fear of I keep showing my feet. Sorry, guys. <laughs> the fear of um, of losing you, fear of never having you, or fear of a heartbreak. Okay. That is his secret desire. He wants to, he, that's the, it's something that he hasn't even told you. Like, in the sense that it's not just about you. He knows what he truly wants. He wants to let go of the fear of abandonment, fear of loss. And he knows once he lets go of that, things will, are going to change. He's going to freely love you. Yeah, and he knows that. He knows his answers. But he can't admit that to you. The fear of loss. That's why he's detached and they cannot clo get close. The idea that something might go wrong or might disappoint you and might not give you what you expect or, um, or what he, he hopes and expects from himself to offer you and he's worried and... And the fear of disappointment in himself, disappointing you. And he knows that he wants to release that. And that's his secret desire, the desire to let go of all that feeling of, of failure and una unable to, to make these changes and to, uh, to give you what he truly wants. Uh, the feel of, of um, uh, unworthiness. Oh, so many feelings. He wants to release that. He truly desires to feel strong and free and confident and know his self-worth. He would never say that to you. What is his secret hate? What does he secretly hate? Choose wisely again with this card. That was, in, but they're all in reverse, so uh, I'm gonna turn them upright. He secretly hates that he always looks for answers outside his heart, he or even his mind. He looks for directions from other people. He cannot tap into his spirituality, into his inner knowing. He acts as if he's trying to convince you to trust in this, in this connection. That you got to have faith and believe despite he's not appearing physically. But he secretly actually hates that he doesn't trust this, this spiritual connection. And he wants to. 
He wants to tap into spirituality and have faith and believe. He knows that he's relying on external, um, external uh, impacts. And he secretly hates that. He's like influenced by people. Like he needs people to do this. He got to trust himself and do things alone, on his own. No other people involved. But he doesn't do that because he needs these people to express himself because he cannot approach because he's scared of experiencing loss and heartbreak. But this is saying you got to tap into your spirituality and your inner knowing, in your inner awareness. you got to open your third eye chakra. And he tells you and dictates you how to open your third eye chakra. But he secretly... He is not fully open with his because he doesn't trust in a divine guidance. It's so hard for them to believe that something is beyond their own control. They can release logic. They cannot put spirituality above logic. And it's so that there's always this contemplation and behaviors and action by having other parties involved to get what he wants and he hates for doing that he hates secretly that so don't think whatever he does is because he loves it it's a part of the fear he can't expose himself so he always looks for some other forms and other ideas or other people you know he never allows himself to think for himself and feel for himself there's always um, other people thinking sometimes for him. What is his secret challenge? His secret challenge uh, is heartache and loss. Yes, exactly what we were saying here. Um, heartbreaks. He can let go of the pain. And uh, the, also third party situation. It's a secret challenge. Like there is a third party involved. Either on his side or on her side. And uh, that's a challenge. And he doesn't know how to. To eliminate that. <laughs> he, he has no power over it. The other secret challenge is uh, the pain from the past. Whatever broke his heart, um, he has to let go and forgive, forgive them and forgive himself for whatever actions that happened upon him or he did unto others or unto Divine Feminine. He cannot, uh, the sense of guilt and remorse and... Um, it just eating him inside. Um, he just can let go. That's why he is so has these barriers uh, because he can let go. The, the, he hurt you so much, and now he's experiencing the pain, and he cannot bear that. But even in the past, he has gone through so much pain. So he defended his heart so much he, on this heartbreak. But now it felt like he broke your heart so much and he's feeling that so much, the pain of for the heartbreak, what he put you through. And that's a challenge. He has to overcome that. And he has to forgive. What is his secret need? His secret need is... He needs to open his heart chakra. Yes. Uh, and we've said this so many times, you know. He has to open to love. He has to surrender and abandon any form of fears. And uh, he has to expose himself. He has to open up his heart. It's so connected to the heartache here. Like he was heartbroken and probably he heart broke. He broke feminine, uh, feminine, divine feminine's heart as well. 
and we need to patch that back we got to mend the heart and it's he needs to mend his heart he can he can mend his heart it's so hard for him and that's his secret need he needs to heal his heart and he's trying and he maybe he's even pretending like he's doing great but he feels deep inside that this thing will never heal because the scar is so deep the wound is so deep and gosh today i'm feeling this so bad but he needs to heal because there is hope and there is love <sighs> gosh today is bad what is his secret test what is his secret test let's get this one spiritual strength yes he got to push himself up and one final push and he can do it that's a test don't give up i know you're physically and mentally drained but your spirit is saying one final push and you can do it you can make it to the top this card keeps popping up in different forms either is like on the mental level or a spiritual level this is like um the nine of wands this is one final push one final challenge and you can do this so stay strong don't give up and his spirit and this love he has for you is keeping him alive and is is pushing and keeping himself strong that's his secret test on a spiritual level his spirit it's all he got to keep himself strong and he can make it to the top what is his secret motivation oh my god the two of you spiritual union oh, look the twin flames the two of you together third eye chakra you know in your heart and in your soul you know even you're not physically there but there's love here in equal love nourishing each other equal giving and receiving on the spiritual level you are constantly doing that and she sees that so you don't have to worry about it okay she sees that and she is patient and you're patient we gotta keep healing each other okay look so beautiful what is his secret motivation the two of you together this love the two of cups you are two souls this is actually one soul united on a spiritual realm okay you don't need to see each other through the eyes of the physical body because you the love is unconditional on a spiritual level it's always there and i know you're there and you know i'm there and that's what matters so beautiful